Hello YouTube, the Water Club of 99 here and today I'm going to show you how you can photograph the sun safely. Now as you know if you live in Britain the sun's a rarity so I'm going to take this opportunity to show you how you can actually photograph the sun. So what you're going to need is a camera which allows you to change the shutter speed. Um, some digital cameras, small pocket cameras can actually um, actually do this setting. It, it, some more modern ones have that setting so check yours if yours is relatively new check that see if it has that capability but otherwise bridge cameras and slr cameras do the job well um, you're also going to need maybe some eyepiece and filter kits if you're going to um, be using a telescope um, I, i've got my celestron um, eyepiece and filter kit here which i'll be using if you want to check out the review for that i'll put a link into the description to check down below um, and you'll also need some sort of solar filter um, it looks like just a piece of foil but this is actually beta solar film which is um, special uh, solar a special solar filter which you can actually cut into different sizes to um, fit your needs and if you are going to use a um, telescope then again you'll need eyepieces and maybe filters um, but you definitely need a solar filter um, like the beta solar film so you definitely need some of that but you can you can also use pinhole cameras i'll show you how to use a pinhole camera later but you can't actually get the detail like sunspots with that but i'll still show you anyway okay so to photograph the sun in a very simple way you're going to need some beta solar film or some type of solar filter and you're also going to need um, your camera so what you're going to need to do is zoom your camera out as far as it goes um, and set your camera on manual mode manual mode um, and set it to um, about an ISO of um, 800 to 1600 something like that um, and an aperture of about 5.6 with a shutter speed of about one three thousandth of a second since it is quite bright and to actually get some some detail with some sunspots very faint but to actually get that detail you're going to need it need it on a, quite a high iso um, the picture will look quite grainy but you can actually see some sunspots on a good day so you point your camera up at the sun focus it and get your photo and you should be able to get some photos just like this. Okay, so pinhole cameras, um, it's a bit obvious what it is. It's basically just a piece of paper, usually, or some foil, with a little pinhole in it, which will shine um, an image of the sun onto another piece of paper at a distance. So the further away this um, pinhole is from the projection paper, then the larger the sun will be but then also the fainter it will be now you can't really see sunspots with this um, but it is it's quite good for actually getting photos of solar eclipses and transits um, so what you, what you do is well, ba well basically all I've done is just got a um, cardboard box tripod box covered it up a little bit made it look a bit nicer solar viewer um, and basically all that will happen is this pinhole at the top here in this foil, don't know if you can see that but that is shining an image onto um, the piece of paper down here just a projection piece of paper so with the shadow I would align that up so it's just sort of like a, a nice square shape as small as it is so I don't have to look at the sun and blind myself so I'd get that as small as it is then I'll get my camera, um, set it to automatic mode, you don't need any fancy settings. Um, so get that as small as possible, look inside the dark compartment, and there should be an image of the sun just there. Focus, and get your photo. So it's simple as that, and you can get some photos just like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to use my telescope, which is a Celestron Astromaster um, 130EQ motor drive. Um, and I've got a solar filter on the top. And with, for a reflecting telescope, you don't really need a big aperture, just a small one like that. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be using a wider angle 
um, wide angle pulls the eyepiece, 32mm. Um, you don't really want it any stronger than a 15mm really, because um, then it's hard to actually keep the sun into this small aperture. So I'm going to have that in there nice and tight. Um, don't look through your viewfinder unless you have any spare solar film, otherwise I'll stick that in front. I'll look up through that to try and see the sun and then I can use it um, use that way to actually find the sun. Um, so my cam setting I'm going to be having it on is a manual mode an ISO about 100 or 200 um, uh, a shutter speed of about um, about 1200 1 1200 of a second and also I'm going to be having an aperture of about f f4.5 so that will do nicely um, so the sun is starting to come out now and with the shadow I'm going to want to get that as small as possible so in this case it would be a circle so the similar technique to the um, uh, pinhole camera find that once you find it through your viewfinder get your camera ready try and get it into the center if possible that's where the best results can be found focus it and take your photo it's simple as that and you can actually get some pretty good photos just like this okay so what I'm gonna do now with the um, eyepiece now that we've tr just tried it with the actual solar film itself we're gonna try with um, a coloured filter to try and make the sun look more like like we usually see the sun in pictures either yellow orange or red so I'm just going to screw it onto the bottom like down here like so this is a, a deep yellow number 12 Celestron filter fully coated so I'm just going to have that on the end like that I'm just going to stick it in here again Use the same technique for finding it, uh, getting um, the shadow as small as possible, and or using um, this through here, like that. So use that same technique, and then you look through to try and find the sun. Nice colour there. So with this time, because um, some some filters are different, differently coated or different numbers then the um, shutter speed and aperture might be slightly different so that's going to be for you to work out but from this time I'm just gonna sort of um, lower it down a little to about um, one five hundredth of a second try that put a yellow one get photo line it up get photo and it should look something like this Okay, so um, basically it's all up to you what you do with it now. You can change it um, to different colours, um, different shades of reds, oranges, yellows, maybe even blues and greens if you want to be more artistic with your photos. Um, so, yeah, if you do have an adapter for an SLR camera, I'd use that because it's, it's probably better than just having it going all over the place like this. Um, so, yeah, um, check out the review for the... Um, Celestron eyepiece and filter kit. Hope I hope that has been that will be helpful for you as well. Um, so I recommend that product as well. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about um, telescopes or equipment I might have used in this video, or just um, how do you do it sort of questions, then just leave that in the comments. And if you have any other questions in other videos, go ahead post them in there as well. I'll be happy to help you for as soon as possible. So um, I will put some other examples of photos of the sun I've done at the end of the video so check some of those out for what you could do. Um, so I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, I, I hope to see you soon and I just want to thank you for watching. So yeah, hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.